morning. What's going on, guys? Vlogging a little bit. I just got done walking the dogs for the day. They actually need more water. Look at that. You don't want to drink that, Thor. Ugh. It's Kenobi slobber to the max. Anyways, I'm going to go play basketball um, with my buddy Andre. You got, you know what? The camera lens is dirty. It needs to be cleaned. Maybe that's a little better. I need to get my official camera cleaning cloth, though. Got the water. Kenobi's going to be so happy. Aphrodite really likes fresh water, too. It's kind of funny. She'll, uh, She'll sit here and be like, meow, 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 because she wants fresh water. Bag for you. All right, who wants the first drink? Kismo! They want me to open the windows for them so bad. This is like their favorite thing in the world. I know, we went for a short walk today, but we'll go for a longer one tomorrow, I promise. You know what is like kind of weird? Told you. Uh-huh is that the dogs, Thor loves to go fishing, really likes going on the boat, but he's just super annoying because he like he wants to get the lure and he wants to bite it like a ball every time it comes into the boat, which is really dangerous because it's got hooks. And Kenobi, on the other hand, does not like to be in the boat at all. One time I had him out on the boat with me in the middle of uh, our lake at the cabin, which is fairly small, you know, 200 acres, but he literally jumped out of the boat and swam to shore and then just got on the dock and sat down and waited for me to come back and it was really, really, really funny, so. But I would like to take them out fishing if I had a boat. I would really like a boat, but I need a house, a truck, and then a boat, and then a whole brand new set of fishing gear, which is gonna be really expensive. All right, like I said, I'm gonna get my naked juice and I'm gonna go play some basketball with my boy Andre. Dang, Nabbit, I just got like six letters from the IRS. It was actually five, it wasn't like six, it was five, I should stop saying like six and just say five, put the cord in the proper slot here, let's get it in the hole. There we go, These, we have a Sony Handycam, a lot of guys have been asking about it, what, what we use. Sony Handycam, but it's got one of those USB cords that come out of the back, which is really, really stupid, in my opinion, because now the cord is starting to fray at the connection. At some point, it's probably gonna break and not work anymore. It does have an external USB cord where you can, like, port, where you can plug in the cord, which defeats the entire purpose of having the cord coming out of the side that's just gonna break. And I also dropped my juice. Jack FM. That awkward moment when your favorite song is on the radio, and you only get to listen to like 20 seconds of it and you take the camera out to jam out and record and then of course the song is done and they're on to something else. Redemption baby! Hey what's up man? Uh, yeah there's no parking out here on the street because it's street cleaning Monday so we could probably just drive over to the gym and be a little easier so I don't have to park. Um, but I got a, a question for you. I think I could borrow a pair of your socks so I can smell them. I'm just kidding. I wore wool socks, so I need socks today. Because um, I don't want to play and get them all sweaty because my feet are going to sweat like crazy, but that'd be cool. I'm not actually going to smell them either. All right. Thanks, man. See you in a minute. <laughs> That's why everybody's tripping on Dwight Howard for me. And I'm like, man, I'll leave too because there's no state tax in uh, Texas either. Let me go over there and get my 80 and try to pay zero taxes. So we got here, and the indoor gym is actually closed for special permit dodgeball use, but we're just shooting around outside, running around, working up a sweat, playing a little basketball. One cool thing about shooting around on the outside rims like this is they're really stiff. The backboards are really not stiff, they're pretty flexible, so it's pretty hard to shoot on, and you get a lot of really good practice shooting on these rims, and when you go inside and shoot on the rims inside, they're a little softer, they have more bounce. The backboard's a lot more stiff, and you uh, you just shoot a lot better. Had a good time. I'm gonna drive by the Oscars here. They, they should be taking everything down. I'll see if anything's left up, but show you guys where they held the Oscars. Okay, that's where they held the Oscars. And as you can see, there's the Oscar statue. Look, it's the guy. He's holding the sign. It says, go F yourself. I finally got him on camera. <laughs> I got you, sign guy. Woo, I feel squeaky clean. It's a really good feeling. I just went for a run and came home and took a shower. And I don't know, I just felt really gross after my run and I showered and I felt so good. Oh, probably because I didn't shower yesterday. Yeah, I'm a disgusting human being. I didn't do anything that physical yesterday, but I didn't shower. And then like now my shower just felt really good. TMI. Get that camera out of my face. John's uh, live streaming in here. 
What you thinking? This is a violation of my privacy. Yeah. Just like doing some fan. I'm on Shadow Mare. Fan Shadow Mare? Is that a real thing? Shadow Mare. Shadow Mare. Shadow Mare. Ooh. Like Shadow. Okay. Mare. That's my horse's name. Oh, it is really. I'm on Shadow Mare on Twitch TV. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that was like the website that hosts the chat. Wait a I am He's totally right there. She's about this. She's busting into my live streams. It makes me uncomfortable. What? Hey, just, wait. Just, just showing people back what here? you How do. How the hell did sometimes. I go? Yeah, this is what I do. John's Game Channel. Playing with some fans or viewers? No, I'm just playing by myself. I just started recently uh, live streaming on Twitch TV under John's Game Channel, so you can check out all my live streams there. Got the whole camera going with the microphone and and the gizmo. Yeah. Alright, can we just a Damn it! We have to go through this every time, don't we? Okay, I don't have time for this. Wait, no. What the hell? No! I'm going back to jail. Uh, not pass and go, not collecting $200. Y'all hear how loud he is when he games, though? I'm telling you, that's what I wake up to in the morning sometimes. Like, I have to go back to jail! Oh, Napa. Stop it at Napa. I gotta get a little power steering fluid for the Honda. And I need some zip ties for my float tube. But I just thought I'd get them here because I know they have them. And I needed the power steering fluid. All right, got my zip ties, got my power steering fluid. Now I'm going to go to the fishing store and buy some drop shot weights, some hooks, as well as some worms if I need them. So that way I can go fishing tomorrow. Fishing bait, here are the worms. This is such a great store. They have everything you could ever want for fresh water, salt water. So I'm gonna pick up some of these worms. Um, Try this color, the hot tip, and go out to the lake. He said it would probably be pretty muddy out there, so I'll be better off with um, kind of darker colors. But I got both bright and dark, and we'll see what'll happen. But I'm gonna get some weights. I've got my worms, I've got my Napa stuff, and then I'll be out of here. All right, so I just got back from the store. I got my zip ties. I'm going to take this orange flag and zip tie it to the back of that for like a safety thing, because the lake I'm going to, that's what they require, and it's good just to have. And then I'm gonna put the power steering fluid I got into the Honda, and I'll be loading up my stuff and I'm ready to go fishing in the morning. Sweet! Boing! There it is. Float tube, waders, boots, flippers, life jacket, pump, everything, fishing rod, tackle, bait, gear, it's all loaded up, ready to go. I'm gonna put my address in the GPS in the morning, so I have, um, all I have to do is get in the car at 6 a.m., punch it in, go get some coffee, and I'll be there. Um, this should be pretty fun. I'll be fishing the drop shot weight technique that uh, my buddy Jeff taught me down in San Diego, and hopefully I'll catch some fish. There's supposed to be some giant bass in there. It'd be cool to hook into one and land one. Um, it's a big dream of mine is catching a double-digit bass, but we are good to go. Now I have to put power steering fluid in this beast. Here's John being a hella awesome cook. He wants to have a barbecue again at some point during the week. So he's preparing yeah, his Yeah, we're going to have some people over. I'm going to have three different rubs, including this original TexasBarbecue.com rub, which is supposed to be really good. So, kind of excited. And I've got three giant racks of ribs. I'm just kind of trimming off some of the fat off the back. So all the flavor will absorb on both sides and really penetrate the meat. Penetration. Meat penetration. Sounds yummy. I can't wait. Our friend Eros really likes barbecue, so he'll probably be coming over for that. I think he was the, the one who inspired us having a barbecue. He was like, dude, get some ribs, and I want to come over and eat them. <laughs> Whoa, look at that rub. Yeah, this is uh, one of the rubs that my friend Gonzo gave me that he uses, but it's actually a sugar-based rub, brown sugar-based, so it's like, it's probably really bad for you because it's just like, Covered sugar. In glazed sugar, but <laughs> let me tell you what, it's so delicious. Yeah, I bet it'll be delicious. Just a little fattening, but ribs are fattening, period. That's kind of how it works, though, huh? Fattening stuff is usually the most delicious, so it's okay to have days like these where we're just gonna eat something that's good and terrible for you every once in a while. <laughs> well, I need to find something to wear, because mama's got a hot date tonight. John and I are going out to dinner, so I'm trying to find an outfit. I'm not gonna get too dressed up. I'm not wearing a dress or anything. I'm just trying to find a cute top so that I look nice while we enjoy our evening. How's this shirt? 
I like it. I think it's just a little big, but I think I'm going with this tonight. I haven't worn this shirt yet. It's been sitting in my closet for a couple months. Well, I usually wear an extra small and they only had smalls left in this shirt. And I just thought it was so pretty that I got it anyway, but I do wish it were like a little bit smaller, but I think it still looks all right. It still looks good, right? It's just a little loose. So remember when we went on a haunted bar tour downtown Los Angeles and we vlogged the experience? Well, when we were out, we had that bad experience at a bar where the bartender was mean to us and we couldn't get a drink. Well, the owner of this place actually ended up reaching out to us and it was just super nice and unexpected. He gave us a gift certificate to try out their foods and I guess his company owns a bunch of bars downtown Los Angeles and they gave us a bunch of tokens to try out uh, a bunch of their bars too. And like, he gave us kind of a lot. So we're extremely grateful and we're gonna go back and give this place another chance and that's where we're going out to dinner tonight. We're gonna try some of the food at Kohl's. Downtown Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. These are Oscar porter potties. They have air conditioners. So we drove down to Kohl's and when we got there, there were a bunch of trucks and a film crew and props and stuff. And the restaurant was closed because I guess they're filming something there tonight. I talked to my friend and she said that she thinks they film Mad Men and Law and & Order there. So it was closed for the night. So we came to Hollywood instead to hang out with Eros, Andre, and Viviana and we're gonna go out to eat. So our date become, became like a five-some. Everybody is walking. Arrows. Hi. Uh, on the Hollywood Boulevard. Hey, this one doesn't have a name on it yet. That one's mine right there. What the heck? What the heck? The second restaurant we decided to go to was called Musso in Franks, which is the oldest restaurant on Hollywood. And it's closed too. Both of our choices are closed. What are we going to do? I'm so hungry though. I feel like I'm about to pass out. We need to find something. So we decided to come to good old Mel's Diner and I'm looking at the menu. It's been a while since I've been here and I'm kind of salivating already. They have goat cheese and turkey sliders. I'm like, mm, I gotta get that. I love my goat cheese. I really like goat cheese. Is that weird? But I'm just like, I'm kind of obsessed with goat cheese. Yeah, you chase them around trying to find their cheese. It's a little weird. <laughs> Yeah, that happens. All these goats running around Los Angeles, I just go after them and I try to milk them and make some cheese at home. Yum, this looks so good. Everyone enjoying their food? Good. Magoo, you like it? Yeah, breakfast slider's amazing. Well, the food was really yummy. Decided to go for a little dessert action. I'm taking a butterscotch malt to go. I love malts and I haven't had a malt in forever. It's hitting the spot right now. Done. Already devoured his banana split. Is it good? It was alright. It came with chocolate ice cream, which is kind of weird. They usually come with three colors ice cream. Well, I should have ordered vanilla. Hey, Daddy, are you stretching under the chair? It's like you feel so important and so tough. Ooh. Make sure my ribs are still in there. Feeling better yet? Did you drink some Pepto-Bismol? Mm -mm, Pepto-Bismol doesn't really help heartburn. Should we take a poo-poo? Yeah, you guys, I just feel miserable right now. My stomach hurts so badly, and it started hurting before we started eating, too. So I packed up my food in the middle. I'm like, I can't even enjoy my dinner. Mm -hmm. So I have that for later. Do you want to go outside? I'll take that as a no. Outside time! Yeah, so we just got done, you know, we got home, we had dinner with our friends, it was good for me and not really great for Nikki. Don't think that's the first time I've ever said that in my life. Yeah, the food was yummy, it was just, she got sick and her, now her stomach hurts, so I'm kind of bummed out that she's not feeling well. She could have an all, 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 sir, again. But we're gonna hang out, um, take it easy, watch some TV, go to bed. I'm gonna get up and go fishing in the morning. And uh, I don't know, what do you think, Simon? Should they give us a thumbs up? Should they subscribe to the channel and favorite this video for more boo? Look how cute he is. You gotta subscribe for that. 